I want to show you how big space really is. Spoiler, your brain will try to quit. Start with Earth. If our planet was a grain of sand, the sun would be a beach ball 25 meters away. Now scale up. The sun is one star out of 100 billion in our galaxy. That's one beach ball in a stadium filled with beach balls stacked into the sky. Light moves fast around the world seven times in a second. Moon, one second away by light. The sun, eight minutes. Neptune, four hours. The nearest star, four years. Our galaxy's edge, 50,000 years. Andromeda, two and a half million years if you're riding a beam of light. And that's just neighborhood gossip. There are more galaxies in the observable universe than grains of sand on all Earth's beaches. Each galaxy, billions of stars, planets, moons, comets, dust, magnetic fields, radiation, cosmic cities with suburbs and traffic. What's in space? Mostly nothing. A cubic meter out there can be emptier than any vacuum we can make. But the tiny stuff rules. Stars are giant fusion engines. Nebulae are star nurseries. Clouds so big you could fly for years and never see the edge. Black holes curve space like bowling balls on a trampoline, so hard that even light can't escape. Then we get weird. Stars planets. Yumi is only about 5% of the universe. Around 27% is dark matter. Invisible doesn't glow, doesn't reflect its gravity, holds galaxies together like cosmic glue. And about 68% is dark energy, a mysterious pressure stretching the fabric of space, making the universe expand faster and faster. The oldest light we can detect, cosmic microwave background, is the baby picture of the universe from when it was 380,000 years old. Today it's 13.8 billion years old, and the observable part is 93 billion light years across because space has been stretching the whole time. So how big is space? Big enough that big stops being useful. But here's the wildest part. In all that vastness, you're here alive thinking, asking questions. That might be the rarest thing of all.